So, I mean, we've all been there. It's last thing Sunday evening. You got school first thing in the morning. Bullseye's just finished on the telly. You brush your teeth, about to stagger into bed. Oh, bam, I haven't done my bloody maths homework. And so there you are, an hour later, desperately trying to solve quadratic equations with a foggy brain while your dad leers over you and occasionally hoys an empty can of skull at your head. And that appears to be a very similar situation to what Cole Peer has just found himself in when presumably yesterday he leapt out of bed with a start and thought, oh, bollocks. In that recent launch thing I did, where I didn't actually launch anything beyond some vague symbols and yet another crowdfunding opportunity to scrape money off people, didn't I say something about letting people check out the Nothing Phone launcher for themselves by the end of April? And oh tits, look at the bloody date! And so in a panic he legs it to Nothing HQ where, and again I'm just guessing here, there was nobody in it apart from the 16 year old intern who was doing some really important work like sorting all of the purple quality street out from the rest of the box and together over the course of a very hot and sweaty three hours they came up with this. Now I gotta say my expectations were pretty low for the Nothing launcher and those expectations were definitely met. But here's how you can download and install the Nothing launcher if you have one of the holy phones that actually support it and if you don't you're really not missing out on much. I was gonna say in fact that this is the launcher equivalent of herpes except it's thankfully much easier to get rid of. So first, how do you get the Nothing Launcher? Well, that's very easy indeed. All you've got to do is go on the Google Play Store and then type in Nothing Launcher and it'll pop right up. Make sure you install the one from Nothing Technology though. There is another app called Nothing, which literally does nothing. But actually, you know, in fact, you're probably better off downloading this one. It's not as cack. Right now, the list of supported devices is very slender indeed, which if nothing else is just sweet mercy. Basically, it'll work on a Galaxy S21 or S22 series smartphone, a recent Pixel phone as well, Pixel 5 and above. And support is apparently coming soon for OnePlus phones as well, which goes to show there must still be some seriously bad blood between Cole P and his former company. Once you've downloaded the Nothing launcher, head into Apps and then scroll down until you actually find the wee bugger. There we go. And then in here, you'll need to go to home screen and then select the Nothing Launcher. And if you decided to go ahead, then this is what you are met with, the Nothing Launcher in all of its glory. In its current beta form, it is incredibly basic to say the least. You've got your apps tray and you've got your notifications as usual. You've got a small selection of widgets you can chuck on there, all of which look like they were designed by that 16 year old intern. This right here is the best of the bunch. It's the weather widget. You tap on that and you get taken to AccuWeather because you've got a diverse range of customization settings as well. If you long press on that desktop, you can uh, set up a couple of other widgets as well. Basically, you've got a choice of three in total. You've got a big analog clock, a big digital clock, otherwise the old weather app. I'm going to remove the widget for a moment though, just so we can really take in and enjoy that magnificent wallpaper. I can only assume they were desperately trying to think up of some sort of funky wallpaper ideas. Colpe happens to have a screen door like this somewhere in the office. The intern was probably leaning up against it, sweating profusely and screaming inside of his own head. And Cole Peer was like, hey, hang on, hold it. Going to take a photo of that. And Nothing is currently offering alternative wallpaper options, but you do have to download these via a special link. Can't actually get them via the launcher, which is incredibly helpful. One of these is apparently the office dog through that very same screen door. And this is the other one, which is simply known as Face. Basically looks like part of the poster for the next Saw film. And there are also some custom sound effects as well, although again, you'll have to download these via Dropbox. So there's a special nothing alarm. It's not only guarantees I have you leaping out of bed with terror in the morning, but also it scares the living shit out of my cats. Next up, you've got the nothing incoming call alert, which kind of sounds like someone firing off Kalashnikov somewhere in the distance. Either that or maybe a woodpecker on acid. And then you've got the uh, incoming notification alert, which hilariously is just an extremely truncated version of the call alert. There's not really much else to speak of inside of the Nothing Launcher's home settings either. That is basically your whack. Although, thank God, you can actually change up the app grid to add in an extra column. Although, for some reason, that's hidden away inside of wallpaper and style. And you can also set up folders with your apps as well, just by dragging one onto another like so. And the other big whoop here on the Nothing Launcher is the fact that you can enlarge these folders to make them absolutely freaking enormous. And then tap on an app uh, to open it up, but then it kind of begs the question, why even bother with a folder? 
And that's basically it. There's not really anything else to say about the Nothing Launcher. You can't remove the Google search bar down below. You're stuck with that. So what I would recommend is diving back into apps, finding your original smartphone launcher, and then restoring its authority, thus curing your phone of herpes. I say that, the god-awful wallpaper will still be there, so you'll have to get rid of that. So I've got to say, sorry call me, but if you turn that in on a Monday morning, you'd probably get a C- minus at best. But what do you guys reckon about the Nothing Launcher? Do you actually quite like it? Are you f***ing insane? And I've got to say, it's got me really excited about the upcoming Nothing phone, which, not going to lie, it's probably going to look something like this. Except, of course, with all those awesome sound effects. Anywho, it'd be great to hear your comments down in the comments below, obviously. Uh, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech and sh like that as well. And uh, have yourselves a bloody lovely weekend. Cheers, everyone. Love you.